adventure today. I say little because, well, from where our hotel was to where the Big Voodoo is, looks like a little short hike. But as being the one who has hiked these mountains before, it's gonna be challenging. So we gotta fuel up first. I might have a beer. We're probably gonna have some lunch. But Caitlin, she's rather excited. This is gonna be her first hike. It's gonna be amazing, right? To the Big Buddha. Yeah, um, I think we waited for the perfect time to start our hike. It's um, 11, almost 11.30, you know, right around 100 degrees out. It's nice and humid, it'll be great. Um, there's a little bit of breeze, so I'm excited. Yeah, so I suggested a sunrise hike. Caitlin's like, oh, absolutely, I'll get up. You are not blaming this on me. I woke you up I was, three times. First of all, I was the <laughs> first one out of bed today. So, we'll see. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Probably 3,000 feet of elevation climb. We're doing it with a four-year-old. Finished up lunch. Got a lot of carbs. Oh, the tourist police. That's weird. I don't know what that is. Now we're gonna follow our tour guide, Caitlin Marie Sandberg Cardinale. Oh, I forgot to bring out the direction. So if you venture out to Kata Beach, Thailand, in Phuket, and you want to go to see the Big Buddha, there's a couple different ways to get there. It's the hard way, or it's the easy way. Kate chose the hard way. Very scenic, slow way. We're hiking to it, to the top of a mountain. Or you could spend probably, what, 800 baht? 800. Which is about, I don't know how much that is, but. 800. Anyways, it, you could take a taxi essentially to the, uh, to the Big Buddha, but we're a little more adventurous and a little more daring. And this definitely is um, way more challenging. It's someone's driveway. Uh oh, Caitlin's already got us lost. I think it curved before. Gotta go up there. Ah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be hot. It's already very hot. Just checking in. We've already had two people checking on us. Ask if we want a ride. We quietly declined. Kaylin did give a ride to someone. His name's Chase. He's not very light these days. Good news, we climbed, I think, I don't know, 10th of the hill. Look at this side. Oh man. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah? Yes. Good. It's not easier, huh? See, the locals are on scooters. The tourists are on their feet. Like idiots. Good news, it's pretty shady. <laughs> I think we're due for a break. Let's see. How's the, uh, how does it feel? It'd be great without the extra weight on my back. Anyways, I feel like I'm getting sunburned, which is good. I 
hear an ambulance. Is it for Caitlin? Probably not. Somebody broke her back. You should be walking in these parts. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, let's rock and roll to the big, big Buddha ha ha. See our hotel over there? No. We walked pretty far. Yeah. Alright, keep going. Pull, pull, pull. Come on, donkey. Keep pulling. Be ba fo. Off to work we go. Woo! Keep going. You're almost there. Uh -huh. Yep. You got it. Keep going. Big step, Mom. Big step. Definitely not the easiest hike we've ever been on. Yeah. Definitely not the paved trail that I thought it would be. There's definitely ropes to uh, have to grab onto and yeah, that, the help are, you up. Dad, the ropes are easy. Okay. So, just to clarify, we don't grab the power lines, we grab the ropes. You got that? Mm -hmm. All right. Chase, why did you park your scooter up here? It's not my scooter. It's not? Try not to knock it down on yourself. It just was parked, but it was a little bit cracked. We're coming up on Kata Beach viewpoint right here after our lovely hike up. Um, so we're gonna see what that's all about. Yeah. It's Thank you. 
Pretty cool. It's gonna be a hike all the way up. What? That, I feel it. That first like quarter mile is like we ain't never gonna make it. How do you feel it, Mom? My legs are burning. Do we make it? Yeah. There's a million stairs. Told you that there's 50 million hundred stairs. What do you think? It's massive. It's so big. It's so cool. It's bigger than I expected in real life, too. Well, we just finished up at the big giant Buddha that is still under construction, which was pretty remarkable. Um, just by the sheer size of that thing on the side of a giant mountain, which it kind of splits the two sides of Phuket, which was quite interesting. Um, I don't really understand the culture or the religion or you know behind it i just it was never raised around that um but there was a bunch of signs about a bunch of americans who practice you know or i believe some of the more buddha style traditions which was i don't know educational to say the least but the hike itself i think was a pretty good workout very very good workout